What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming back to Oda Treasure. This is Steven, and in this video, I'm going to open up a Fragrance One fragrance. It's not Office for Men, but it is unisex. So I was always interested in Jeremy Fragrance's Fragrance One. I got the Office for Men. I got the Kickstarter. I like the fragrance. I got more of it. This time, I'm trying one of the Flankers unisex. I haven't tried any other Flanker. This is the first time. going to open this one up and see what it smells like. So check it out, Unisex by Fragrance One. So I actually got this from one of the original members of Fragrance One, which is, and his name is Camille. And Camille is the brother of Jeremy Fragrance. So he used to help his uh, brother out and used to do all the customer service. For whatever reason, they had some disagreements and they split up. Since he learned so much from the business, he's doing his own channel now and he's talking about fragrances. He has his own YouTube channel. Check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. It's a Sense with Benefits is his name on YouTube. He makes videos. I'll put a couple other links because he sells a lot of the stock from Fragrance One that he has remaining at a very cheap price, about a dollar per ml. So you can get some deals there. Take a look at his stuff. And uh, let's check this one out. Unisex, it's a 50 ml bottle. Like I said, I won this on his uh, eBay auction. On eBay, he got it for 57 and change. He's selling it for 75 with shipping, or plus shipping. So I think I saved maybe 15 bucks on it. And apparently he threw in a couple other samples. Camille, you gotta label them. Man, you gotta put some name on it. I don't know what it is. I'll try it. Maybe it's Office for Men. And I think you said it was black tie, so let me check it out. All right, so this one, I looked at the reviews on Fragrantica, and a lot of people said that this one is very similar to Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramall. And I recently tried that one, and I know exactly what it smells like. It's in my head. I don't have it with me, but I'll be able to tell if this is anything close to that when I smell it. Let's take a look at the box. 2170. Cool. All right, let's get this thing open and try it out. All right, as you guys all know, very simple packaging, simple box, but I like that little extra cardboard in there to keep it from sliding around too much. I'm surprised he went that far with the packaging. All right, here it is, unisex. It looks like the third version of Office for Men. It has the black cap, the same bottle shape, just half the size of 50 ml. Looks cool. Let's check out the bottom of it here. Eau de Parfum, Fragrance 1, made in Germany. I don't have a lot of fragrances that say made in Germany, so that's kind of unique. All right, so I'm not going to spray it on the back of each hand. I just made the video with Amen Pure Malt. If you like Amen Pure Malt from Terry Mugler, got to check out that video. So I'm going to spray this on my arm right here and see what I think of it. Uh, awesome sprayer. I will give him that. You don't need a neck on the bottle when the top slides over. Oh my God, that is Ultramol. I smell it right now in the room. That is like, that smells like 90% Ultramol. Oh my God, it is <laughs> Ultramol. Alberto Marias made this. This is basically, he should get credit for cloning Ultramol because <laughs> it smells just as high quality. It smells just as great. I swear it's like 90% the same. I can't tell you what it's going to smell like a couple hours from now. It's getting late and I'm going to hit the sack pretty soon, but it just smells like off the initial impression. If you get Ultramol, you're like 90% similar to this one. It's a good buy. If it's good quality, then it's worth the money I paid. It's great seeing that the reviews and the comments are really accurate. So it's not a bad scent. I mean, if this is good for women, it says unisex. Could women wear this? I guess so. There is sweetness to it. It does have a little bit of like a fruity sweetness there. It does smell high quality. That's like the best sprayer on a 50 ml bottle that I think I've ever had. So I'll give them that. If you don't count Dior Sauvage, the uh, Sauvage Elixir. Well, that's 60 ml, isn't it? So the perfumer on this is not Alberto Marias, I just checked. The perfumer on this is Elise Benat. She should just get an award for cloning Ultramol because she did a really good job at that. The notes in this one are bergamot cinnamon and elemy that's it those are the top middle and base notes very simple note listing it's got to be more than that it doesn't really smell like bergamot i mean it smells like it could be pear i don't think i smell the cinnamon or the elemy or it's really well blended so there's a lot there's a lot more notes than they're showing on a fragrantica should i try the samples actually i don't feel like trying the samples i feel like trying one more thing and uh, it's actually a pretty big thing this is called black tie have you guys heard of black tie from fragrance one 
This one was their most expensive, or probably still is their most expensive fragrance. I think Jeremy is asking 260 euros for this thing. I was lucky that when uh, Camille went solo and he was selling off the stuff, he was really like slashing prices. I think I got it for like 100 bucks, 120 bucks, and I just thought there's no way I'm going to find this any cheaper, like a new one like this. So I'm going to check it out. It's been waiting a long time. I think this has been here for, I don't know, like, well, this one maybe just a year. So this one is made by Marius Black Tie. This is the 100 ml all black box. There's the bottom. Nothing special. Can you read the batch code with the black box? Don't think so. Don't think it matters. All right. This is probably worth more to me sealed, but I'm going to open it up. I got to try it out. Because if I like it, I'm going to wear this around. Now, I heard that what this is similar to, I heard this is similar to Gucci Guilty Absolute or similar to Philip Pline No Limits. Both of them are Alberto Maria's fragrances. Very simple packaging. Let's check out the bottle. It's got the little guard in there from sliding around. Like to see that. All right, there it is. Black tie for men. Let's look at the bottom. 3420 100 ml extrait de parfum it says it's kind of an off black like a matte finish kind of rough but it feels smooth but it's just kind of like a matte black color with a simple silver cap i actually like this cap more i wonder if this cap fits on this bottle There it is. I just replaced the silver with the black cap. Put the silver cap on the unisex. Yeah, much happier now. Check it out. All right, let's give this thing a spray, and I'll tell you what I think. Excellent sprayer. It's like a strong mist that comes out. Wow, so this is incredible. This is really good. I really like this one because a couple things. It reminds me of a little bit of Tom Ford ombre leather. You can sense the leather in it, and it's a high-quality leather. It smells great. There's a little bit of sweetness in there too, some kind of fruits or something that keeps it a little bit sweet. I don't know if it's cinnamon. But it does have that opening that Gucci Guilty Absolute has. It does have that rough that somewhat oily, greasy type thing going on. So yeah, even though it's similar to those, it's just fantastic. If you like that type of scent, then you would like this too. So I think it's worth it. I really just off the first impression, I mean the price, I do think it's worth 150 bucks up to that. I would pay for it easily. Definitely, it's definitely worth that. The notes in this one, the top notes are Brazilian mandarin, orange oil, and Italian lemon. So I guess that's where the sweet or the citrus comes from. Definitely the... Gayak wood in the middle notes and in the base notes, patchouli, vetiver, and cardamom. It feels like there's got to be more notes in there than this. I swear there's got to be something else that gives it that rough. That The gayak wood, the patchouli, vetiver, I don't think it's enough to give it that roughness to it. It's almost like there's violet leaf in here. So definitely two great fragrances here for do two different types of purposes. I think you could wear them. Maybe you could wear them both as a night fragrance. This one is more of a fun and playful night fragrance. And this one is more of a, yeah, it says black tie. This is really more of a dressed up luxury type scent. The leather with a little bit of sweetness in there. This is something like a Tom Ford type fragrance in my opinion. And this one, yeah, it's more like a Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol kind of a fun fragrance. So that's my first initial impression. I don't know how long they last, but I think they're very long lasting. At least Office for Men, uh, you cannot complain about the performance from that one. That one performs. It's fantastic. I spray it in the morning. I can still smell it coming off of me at night. I really do believe, and you could tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I really do believe that Jeremy spends a lot of money and resources on making quality fragrances because he is hiring some of the best perfumers. And uh, he says that he's using real fragrance oils and doing his best to make them really high quality. And I, I do believe that. He's charging a lot of money, and I'm hoping that the quality is there. And I haven't been disappointed yet with anything that I've smelled. So these are fantastic. A great deal. Camille, thank you very much. If you're still here watching the video, really appreciate it. So that's all I got to say, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already to Oda Treasure. If you want to see a lot of stuff that I do is discontinued vintage 
It's uh, interesting, rare fragrances, and this definitely goes into the interesting category. I don't know if they're rare, but someday, you never know with Jeremy, he talked about discontinuing the line, and then all of a sudden, he's selling more of them online. He could just pull the plug sometime. I don't know. We do have ones that smell like this. That's the good news. But if you buy this, you won't regret it. So thanks a lot. I hope you guys liked the video, and thanks for uh, sticking it out. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think of these fragrances? Let me know what you think of unisex or black tie if you've ever tried them. I'd like to hear your perspective on that. That's all I got to say for this one. So hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.